What's up, Mega Squad? Hey guys, today we're going to be building a giant Chadwell Clay defeating a Project Zorgo hacker in Minecraft. Let's go! Now, if you guys are fans of Chadwell Clay and the Spy Ninjas, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Just hit the red button and you'll become part of the Mega Squad and keep up to date with our latest videos. So if you haven't seen Chad Wild Clay's recent videos, he's been playing quite a bit of Minecraft trying to stop Project Zorgo. So today I'm going to be making a giant version of Chad Wild Clay's character and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it. Now if you guys didn't see our recent videos, we've made a giant Chad Wild Clay character, a giant V Quaint character and a giant Daniel character all in Minecraft. If you haven't seen those tutorials, I'll link them down in the description. But today we're doing my favourite one so far, which is this giant Chadwell Clay with this defeated Project Zorgo hacker laying on the ground. So let's have a look at what kind of blocks we're going to need. So we're going to need some light grey terracotta, black concrete, red wool, white concrete, blue concrete, white terracotta, yellow concrete, yellow terracotta and some pink concrete. We'll also need some lime concrete later on for his eyes, but we'll get to that a bit later. So first of all, we start building the hacker. So find a nice big open space. And the first block we're going to use is the light grey terracotta. Now this will be the bottom of the shoes. So we need to place eight blocks in a line. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need to go four blocks high. So we've got one two, three, four, and then we fill in all of this area, so... So you should end up with a base, which is four blocks high and eight blocks wide. Next we're going to start on the hacker's legs, which are 19 blocks long. Now for this we're going to use some black concrete. So starting here, if we place 19 in a row, And then we do the same this side. Till they line up like that. Then connect them up. So you should have something like that. Now we need to fill up these black blocks so they come in line with the bottom of the shoes. So you should end up with the outline for the legs. Now it's up to you, you can either completely fill in the inside with black or you can just do the top layer. So for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to do the top layer to fill it in. So you should end up with a solid pair of legs looking something like this. So just a reminder of the sizes, it's 4 blocks high, 8 blocks wide and in total it's 20 blocks long. Next we're going to go on to the arms and body. So from the top of the legs, if we come here and then we go out 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. And then we come across 4 blocks in total. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then do 11 all the way back to there. So it should line up like that. Do the same on the other side. So starting at this corner, place one block there and then come out 11. Go across four. got one, two, three, four, and then line it up. So the next thing we need to work on is the head. So when you have the build looking like this, come down to here, right above the arms, and using the black concrete again, you come to the end, miss a block and then place one there. So there should be a space of one there. And do the same the other side, so miss a block on the corner and place one there. 
And then we need to come up 10 blocks. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Do the same the other side. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we just connect those up. She should have the outline of the face looking something like that. So if you like, you can connect up this section here. So from here, if you come down to this corner and place three black concrete blocks in the corner, so one, two, three, and do the same this side, one, two, three, and then place two blocks of white concrete in the center, and it should look something like that. Then we do an entire row of white concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch back to the black concrete. And if you miss a block and then place two and do the same the other side. So miss a block, place two, and then fill these other ones in with white. So switch into the pink concrete. We place two here and two here and then we do the rest of the row in white then back to the black concrete we place one block on the end and one block to the other end and then we place two in the middle here so we've got one and two so it should be black block two gaps two black blocks two gaps one black block and then you switch back to the white and fill in that now this part is the nose. So underneath the nose, if you put two more white blocks and then do one on each end as well, and then go back to the black blocks and place two in there and two in there, and then another two just here. And as you can see, the face is slowly starting to come together. Then we do where these two black blocks are, we place another two here. And then we fill the rest of this section in with white concrete. And there we have the hacker face. Now at the moment, because the legs are four blocks high and the rest of the body is really flat, you just need to use the same color blocks to raise it up. So just go around the whole thing and make sure that the entire structure comes up to four blocks high. So eventually you should end up with a build that looks something like this. So as you can see, the whole structure is four blocks high in total. So the next thing we need to do are the yellow gloves. So for that we switch to the yellow concrete and we come down here to the end of the arm and place one, two, three, four blocks across and then go all the way up to the top. And then we do the same with another layer. So one, two, three, four. Now to give his hand a bit more structure, we're going to leave out the top row, come down one and place four blocks going across. Do the same on this row and the same on the bottom. And then do it one more time. So. So you should have two lots of four blocks high and then two lots of three blocks high. So the hand should look something like that. Over to the other hand and do the exact same thing. So we cover the whole thing in yellow concrete. And then miss out the top row, come down one. should have it looking like that on this side. So now we have our complete hacker laying on the ground. So next we need to build Chad Wild Clay stood on top of the defeated hacker. Now if you guys are like me and you like watching the Spy Ninjas videos, I love it when Chad V, Daniel and Regina defeat the hackers in a ninja battle. So this is why I came up with this idea to do Chad with the defeated hacker on the floor because I think it looks really cool. So for this part, I'm going to switch out the pink concrete for lime concrete because we no longer need the pink, but we will need some lime in a little while. 
So the first part of Chad that we're going to build is his foot that's standing on top of the hacker. So for that we're going to switch to the light grey terracotta and from this position come down to the bottom right corner of his face and we're going to come down from this corner, miss one block and place one there. So you should have a one black block gap between the mask and the first part of the shoe. So we're going to place four in a row and then we're going to do the same this side. So one, two, three, four, and then connect it up to make a square. Just like that. You can fill that in. Then to add a bit of detail to the shoe, we're going to put two more blocks here. Now Chad's legs are blue. So if you switch to the blue concrete and then just go around the rest of the shoe. The blue level needs to come up a total of three blocks high. So we've got one, two, three, and then we just do the same all the way around. And you can fill in the middle part. So next we're going to build the knee. So when you have the shoe base looking like this, come here and do one more row of blue just across this top line. So we go one, two, three, four. Come up here and miss out the first row and come in and do a line here and then fill in the rest. And then do the same on this top level. So miss out the first row and then do another line and fill it in all on top. So you should end up with something like this. It kind of looks like steps going up. Okay, so looking at the bottom of the leg from this angle, you want to come here and place another row across the back and then do another row on top. So when you're looking at it from this angle, you want to come back four blocks. So we've already got one, two, three, four, and you do it for the whole rectangle. So one, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. And do the same here. Okay, so we've got Chad's right leg. Now we need to work on his left leg. So switching back to the light grey terracotta, we come down to this corner. So there's the hacker's face. Come down to this corner. And where you've got the corner of his right foot, if we... Come back one and then out one and then place a block there. So you should have a gap all the way around of one block. Okay, so we're going to do four blocks this way. So we've got one, two, three, four. Come back another three. One, two, three. Same here. One, two, three. And then connect them up. So you should have a square of four by four. If you like you can add that little detail on the front of the shoe again so just place two in the in the front there in the middle. Switch back to the blue concrete and fill in the rest. Come up another level now we need to keep building this up until it reaches the same height as this right leg. So using the blue concrete just build it all the way up Okay, and you should end up with something looking like this. So as you can see, there's a gap all the way around the shoe down to the arm. Okay, now this is coming along nicely. Now we need to work on the body. Now if you saw my previous Chad Wild Clay tutorial, this part's going to be really easy. But if not, don't worry, it's really easy to follow along. So for this part, we're going to use some red wool. Now this part is going to be 8 blocks wide by 4 blocks deep. And we're going to come up 3 levels. Okay, and you should end up with something like that. Now we're going to switch to the white terracotta. So for the hands, we're going to come out four blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four. Same on the back. One, two, three, four. And then just connect them up. And fill in the gaps. And then come up in line with the top of the red. So it should be three blocks high. like that. 
and do the same on the other side. Next we're going to cover the whole top of this with more red wool with two layers high. Next we're going to switch to the white concrete and we're going to do the CWC on his shirt. So for this we come in one block and place one and then we come up four all together. So we've got one, two, three, four. Come across two at the bottom and then two at the top. Okay, so there's the first C. Next we go on to the W. So for that we miss out a block and we place five. So we've got one, two, three, four and five. On this end we come up three all together. So we've got one, two, three. Miss a block. In the middle you place one more. And then on the end you come up three all together. So one, two and three. And there is the W. For the next C we miss another block of red and then we place another white block and we come up four all together. So we've got one, two, three and four. Come across three at the top. So one, two, three and three on the bottom. One, two and three. And there we go. There's the CWC. Now from this CWC logo, from the top of it, his shoulders go up three more layers of blocks. So we've got one, two and three. So this, this level here is going to be his shoulders. So what we need to do is fill in this entire rectangle up to this level with red wool. So I'm going to speed this part up. And there we have the body. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is Chad's head. So for that, we're going to switch to the white terracotta. So for this, we come to his right shoulder, and from the end, we come in five blocks. We've got one, two, three, four, and five, and we place one block there, okay, and then we come out two blocks. And then from this side, we do the same. So we come in five. So one, two, three, four, five. Place it on the fifth block and come out two. At the back, go straight across the shoulders and then do the same. So come out two. And same here. So you should have two blocks poking out at the back and two at the front. Connect these up. And then fill it all in. Okay, so there's the bottom of Chad's head. Now we start off by doing the mouth. So for the mouth, we come in two blocks and then we place four. So we've got one, two, three, four. And then fill around it with white terracotta. Like that. Then switch to the white concrete, come in one block from the end and place two on top of each other. Do the same the other side. In one block, place two on top. Then switch back to the black concrete and place one here and one here. And then because Chad has green eyes, the line concrete is the nearest color to it. So if you place one on top of the black concrete either side and then we fill in the rest with white terracotta. Okay, so now it starts bringing in the hair. Now the nearest color I could find that would match his hair is the yellow terracotta. We go to this eye and not right on top of the green but next to it we place one block there and then we do the rest of the line in white terracotta. Okay, then we place one more block of white terracotta here and then back to the yellow terracotta and then we do the rest of this line in yellow. And then the top layer is all yellow. And there we have Chad's face. So it's nearly complete. All we need to do now is fill in the rest of the head. 
So for that, we come up from the bottom to this layer here with white terracotta, and then the top two layers are yellow terracotta. So that bit's really easy, but I'll just speed this part up. And there we have it guys, the giant Chag Wildclay character defeating a Project Zorgo hacker in Minecraft. Now if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comments what characters you would like me to build next. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay mega.